everyone, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue. Aloha, I'm in Hawaii on vacation. So I decided to bring the camera and do a video because it's nice to have one on location wherever I am. And I got to talking with some people at my meetup group recently about friends with benefits. Because what's happening is a lot of people that are coming out of a relationship are really just don't, they don't want to get back into anything really quickly. They're not really ready to date, but they miss the sex. So they're saying, well, how do you do that and be okay with that? Especially for women, because a lot of women get emotionally attached when there's sex involved. You have to have a few rules and, and expectations, because if you don't, it goes sideways really fast. You have to have a couple of things where you have the talk. And so what you say to each other is, you know, how often is this going to happen? Is it going to be a bit of a date night or is it just going to be a bedroom fling? How long is it going to go on for? Do we have to tell each other if we're dating other people? All these things have to come into play when you decide that you're going to be in a friends with benefits situation. Because first and foremost, you're friends. You have to respect each other's values because if you don't do that, it's going to become sort of more of a booty call and that's not what you want. You want it to be where there is sort of a, a time set where you're going to see somebody again. It's not just a midnight phone call because if that's the case, then you're not really having this, this perfect scenario because it's becoming sort of where you're feeling like you're being used. And you don't want to feel like you're being used in a friends with benefits situation. You want to feel respect it. You want to feel that they actually care about you and they, they prioritize their time with you. But you also have to understand when you go into this that maybe you think to yourself, oh, I'm not ready for any relationship. But then you start to like them really quickly and you want more from them. You have to understand this very rarely goes into a long-term committed relationship. So you've got to be okay with that right from the start. If you find that you are out dating and you guys are okay with each other doing that, but then you fall for somebody else, you don't send them a text saying it's over or ghost them and not show up at things and just turf them out of your life. You always have to, to be kind to them because you are on this agreement with each other. It's a friendship agreement. You make plans, you keep your plans. So it's very important to have these things. And again, you have to have the talk because when you have the talk, you're on the same page. If you're not on the same page with a friends with benefits situation, it's going to be all over the map. Is you're going to be feeling like you don't know what's going on and it's going to frustrate you more than if you're out dating. So if you decide this is for you, I strongly suggest that you sit down, have a little chat with the person, that you both come to the same terms and agreement with how it's going to unfold with each other. And at the very end of it, when you decide it's, it's not for you anymore or you just can't handle this type of thing, you have to have another talk where you say to them, okay, I can't deal with this or I've met somebody else and do it face to face. It can be a good situation for a lot of people and it can be very hurtful for others. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there because I did, I did a blog on it recently and I thought maybe I should add a video to it as well. So think about that. Don't get hurt. Don't get all upset if somebody walks away from it because those are unfortunately some of the things that happen when you have this type of scenario. So thanks everyone. Aloha from Hawaii and uh, take care everyone. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to leave your comments below the video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Complicated. Stick to the rules and you won't be jaded. I'm not asking for much around here, so step up.